Suspected serial killer Kazungu in court claims he killed women for infecting him with HIV slash AIDS. Suspected serial killer Dennis Kazungu for the first time appeared in court since his arrest earlier this month to answer murder charges related to 14 people, 13 females and one male, some bodies of whom were unearthed from his rented residence. The 34-year-old was arraigned in Chichuchiro Primary Court on Thursday morning amid tight security as family members of the deceased and members of the press thronged the courtroom. Curious on Lucas who have been gripped by Kazungu's story peeped through the wire mesh to catch a glimpse of the young man who has earned himself the moniker of the Rwandan serial killer. Kazungu, a resident of Gashichir village, Busanza cell, Kanombe Sector in Chichichiro district, was arrested on September 5th by Rwandan Investigation Bureau RIB and is subsequently admitted to have killed 14 people, some of whom he reportedly cooked and ate in an act of cannibalism. Kazungu appeared for bail hearing in the first instance court, where he was brought by Rib without a lawyer to accompany him. He immediately asked the court to hold the hearing in camera because of the nature of the charges he's facing, which would shock the public. I believe these are serious crimes that I have committed. I would prefer that the proceedings are not covered by the media, which would spread them and that may contribute to misleading the society, he said. The prosecutor, however, were quick to dismiss Kazungu's claim, terming it baseless and the judge ordered that the bail hearing be held in public. A seemingly calm Kazungu pleaded guilty for the 10 charges he faces, which include voluntary murder and manslaughter, kidnapping, torture, rape, intimidation, fraud, burglary, unauthorized access to computer data, and concealment of evidence and corpses, among others. He told court that the reason he killed his victims, especially women, is because they deliberately infected him with HIV. Prosecution requested the court to put him on remand for 30 days as investigations continue. Asked what he thought of the prosecution's request, Kazungu said that the ball is in court's court and that judges had the prerogative to make a decision on whether they can grant him or not. At least 12 of the bodies of Kazungu's alleged victims were found in the kitchen of the house he used to rent. Prosecution said Kazungu picked his unsuspecting victims from different locations, including Remira, Chimurong, Kabuga, Masaka, and Rusororo before luring them to his abode in Busanza. Prosecutor's father said that before murdering his suspects, Kazungu first tied them both arms and legs, threatened them with different objects, including hammers and knives, before robbing them of their possessions, including forcing them to transfer money from their mobile phones or bank accounts, as well as forcing them to transfer property and other valuable assets, including land. He also admitted to raping his victims and pointed out that he doesn't remember the names of some of his victims, except for some he identified as Elian Babazi, Clementine, Francoise, and Eric Turatinze, the sole male victim whose identity card he was using. On the crime of rape, Kazungu admitted to raping one person, but she managed to flee before he could kill her. Before raping her, he robbed her of her belongings, but he was lucky to escape and as Kazungu chased her, neighbors noticed and he quickly abandoned the mission. Among other things, the court heard how Kazungu first tortured his victims, hitting them with brunt objects or shoving a pin up their noses to inflict pain so that they could cooperate. The claims were reiterated by two witnesses who managed to escape his grip. The court will produce the bell verdict on September 26th. Thank you for watching Chugali Daily News.